Hey guys, it's Erin with Book Babes, and I literally just finished The Iron Knight by Julie Cogwa. It is um, Wednesday, July 31st um, at 9.45 at night, and I literally just finished this like a half hour, 20 minutes ago, and I had to do a book review um, on it. Because it's amazing and I just got done like crying because it's over and I don't want this series to be over. I mean, I know I still have um, Iron Legends to read so that gives me, you know, more stuff. And she has another series based on this series. It is like an add-on series but I mean, I don't have it with me and I don't, I don't want to leave these characters at all. You grow to love... All these characters, Grimm, Puck, Ash, and Megan. And it's just, it's so sad. And I was crying. And it's just, it's amazing. I'm still texting Erica. I texted her right after I finished it. Saying I finished it. And yeah. Comes to mind. Oh, the ideas. So I asked her, um what she thinks happens to Puck and she says oh the ideas that comes to my mind um so but I can text her back later so this is the fourth and final book in the Iron Fae series and um this is there it was originally supposed to be a trilogy but she added this one on and this one is um of Ash it's all about Ash and like his journey to fulfill a promise to um, Megan and it was so good so that's all I'm gonna say on the non-spoiler part I'm gonna go into the spoiler part so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later bye okay so I don't want this series to be over I love how she okay so first off I want to talk about how a big big thing that happens in the story is Ariella is actually alive and that was the biggest thing I think in this book besides you know him having to go to the end of the world Ariella is alive and he has to choose between Ariella and Megan and I feel so bad for him because they're both girls that he loves and the one that he loves first is actually alive and I feel so bad for him to have to make this decision so that's a big thing in this and I want to talk about okay so let's see let's see let's see let's see okay so we learned about Ash's past and some of the things that he's done did that change your feelings for him did that change how you feel about him um I think honestly that made me love him even more because we figure out the struggle struggle that he went through and it was just so sad I mean I feel so 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 bad for him and oh so we start off this journey then looking for Grimm and we find Grimm at the chicken plucker lady the witch place and I love how when she is like she points the cleaver the butcher knife or a cleaver or whatever um, at Puck and he hides behind Ash I can just picture that in my head and it was so funny and then we have the big bad wolf and if you don't know if you didn't read Winter's Passage the novella um you don't know who the big bad wolf is you know you don't know really about it like the whole story the background story so but then we have the big bad wolf helping them um I mean sure he's doing it for power but you know he's helping them and stuff and that's really cool and then we get to Ariella and then their oath is actually broken and it is isn't true anymore and you know that's really really cool um 
that you know that he doesn't have to kill him not that Ariel is back and stuff and then so they take this journey to the end of the world and you know it's really just this amazing I don't know how she came up with all this stuff that happened and it all fit together and it was just amazing and um I'd have to say my favorite part would have to be when they're fighting um oh I know okay so Erica texted me this yesterday and it was my favorite one of my favorite lines that Puck says of course you guys know I love Puck he is absolutely amazing and he's on the cover actually well not the cover Ash is on the cover but he's on the back he looks he's got his smirk on anyway I thought that was funny so it is when they are fighting the like ghost not the ghost um um not not ghost did I delete it I really hope I didn't delete it I think I deleted it but he was he was talking to the thing and he's like um bad wreath no dodgy and I was just laughing so hard everything that Puck says else hilarious but yeah um I'm trying to think of what else it's really I'm really tired um some big things that happen um I mean besides all the dreams and stuff and all the futures that he sees that's crazy I mean the first future he sees is terrible I would hate to see that the next one that we see is um um, him dying all alone while they're in war like it's terrible but then she throws the biggest curveball at him so we're meant to believe at the beginning or not the beginning at the end during one of his trials um, we're meant to believe that um, you know he's gonna be totally normal he's gonna be to totally mortal and human and stuff and then she throws the curveball where like, hey, you know what? You are half fey, not half fey, just a little bit of fey in you left. So you can still live forever and you guys can be happy and, you know, you still have all this stuff. I mean, we don't know officially that he's going to live forever, but we have a sneaking suspicion because if he was normal or mortal all the way, he probably would, would have died since he's centuries old and he would probably die once he got the, his soul but you know we find out that he's um you know got some fate left in him so you know that dream won't happen because that was just terrible he was so weak and stuff and that was really sad um and I feel bad for Ariella because she ends up dying at the end like we find out that she's alive um at the beginning at the end of part one and she dies at the end of part three that's really sad so um that was I felt so bad for Ash because he lost her and then he got her back and he has to lose her again I felt so sad I'm gonna cry I'm kidding I'm totally kidding um but I love the end and I was crying throughout the whole epilogue um how Glitch is smiling throughout the whole thing and you know he's like your highness and he says what he says and he's just smiling throughout the whole time you know trying not to laugh and then um Megan realizes who it is and they live happily ever after together yeah um I'm trying to think of other parts that were amazingly unspoilery oh the gates that's right okay so when they first get the, to the temple they have to go through a temple at first and that whole scene um um so it is for they right get to the temple and Oh, yeah, um, before they go to the stair, I was, it's after the scene that I want to show you, um, but 
Ariella asks him if he loves her still and she kisses him and he has this moment of what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm here for Megan and then he realizes that he does love her and she gives a hint that she's going to die soon but he doesn't get it and you know she knows all along that she's going to die but um it's really sad the reflection i don't want the reflection oh okay so i bookmarked this thing that was beautiful beautifully written so it says even in a place of ages, as ageless as the never never in the deep wood, where time didn't exist and ancient was only a word, this temple was oldest. So, so my favorite is, <laughs> did we make it? Is this the testing grounds? Ariella shook her head. No, not yet, though I've seen this in my vision. The testing ground is beyond, lies beyond this temple. This is, um, this is the gate to the end of the world. Big gate, Puck um, muttered. Um, I guess this is our stop. Ooh, it's nice to be back on solid ground again. And then he, he looks up, gazing at the light. At the long flight of stairs at the temple, Puck shook his head and sighed. Stairs, he grimaced. I swear, they are always they must be the secret code. A mysterious ancient temple temp all mysterious ancient temples must have a minimum of seven thousand stairs of seven thousand steps to the front door. And then Ash goes, Someone's up there. I sense it. I it feels like it's waiting for me. Then Puck goes, well then, I guess, um, I guess it would be rude to keep them waiting. Hat Prince. And then, and then he says, huh, Prince, you aren't coming. See, uh, seeing this, uh, this is, you know, your party and all. And then, Ari kisses him and stuff. And then they keep walking. And it's just hilarious. I'm trying to find other stuff. We've got company! Just everything that Puck says in this is hilarious. So, I'm going to end the review here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this book as much as I have. And tell me who your favorite character is throughout the whole series. Tell me who your favorite character is um, down below. And comment which one was your favorite book personally I loved the Iron Queen except for the ending I did not like the ending at all and I agree with Erica we have the same pretty much I, I would agree with her she says the Iron Queen and then the Iron Knight is really really close up there but for me they're like the same I can't I can't choose and then the Iron King and then the Iron Daughter. I like the Iron Daughter, but it just wasn't my favorite. But I, I liked it. I still give it a 5 out of 5 stars. So, um, I've taken enough of your guys' time. I'm going to go. And I hope you guys liked this review. Subscribe. Like this video. And, yeah, comment below stuff about this series. I don't know. I just, I don't want this to end. I like, I was weeping um, in the bathroom. I went upstairs, I went into my bathroom and I started crying because I don't, I just, I don't want it to be over. And I'm going to be sad to have to put it on my shelf and then look at it because it's all red and stuff and it's not brand new and it's all red and yeah. But yeah, I'm going to go. I always do this. I always say I'm going to go and then I don't. But I just don't want to leave you guys. I like talking to a camera. Does that sound really weird? You know I better go when I start talking about weird stuff. So I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye. What if we put their faces together? I don't think we can. Ooh, look!
Is that creepy that their faces practically are perfect together? Practically, kind of. I don't know. If you used to get over a little bit, his lips are not as big. They've got the same color eyes. See? Well, you can't really see it. Their faces are like, on air goes, they're like perfect. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the series. It's so sad. I love how these have like, like what it is, like snowflakes. And like the snowflakes on the front. I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have crowns, but the other one does. It's one has butterflies and the other one has paint. Alright. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing.